hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we will be mostly talking about the continuous integration thing right or you can say continuous integration part or build pipeline in in term of azure devops so in the last video we talked about what is pipeline what is azure pipeline and uh, how this ci cd thing is actually relate uh, or you can relate this ci cd thing in azure devops with the build and release pipelines right so if again and just for just as as a recap if i, I have to tell you like continuous integration you can uh, you can relate this continuous integration as a build pipeline in azure devops and continuous deployment is nothing but the release pipeline in azure devops right so let's move to the second slide without wasting much time and i'll quickly show you what all the major uh, things we see in continuous integration so okay yeah before uh, before uh, going forward to to talk about these components or to these um, basically these terminologies right i'll talk about the definition sometimes people ask like what is what is continuous integration if you have to talk about in a simple line right in a in a layman term right so in the layman term you can think continuous integration is nothing but just an automation right we are just writing few script or using few script to automate our build test process that's it right so it's just a process to automate build and test your code that's it now if you see this diagram you can quickly you can i mean understand like as soon as i mean we are checking our code or we are committing our code right this pipeline is executing this pipeline is executing these number of tasks here build test verify publish result you can make more tasks as per as as per your requirement right but just for the example i have i have uh, taken these four tasks right so so again i mean this, this these are just the automation of scripts right to to automate this process now let's talk about these four uh, terminologies you can say or those four components of continuous integration you can say the first is code so here we are talking about the 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 code which basically developers is going to commit now right or and any change right so as soon as developer commit the change right either you can manually trigger this pipeline so there are multiple ways to trigger the pipeline you can manually trigger the pipeline or you can automate it right again you can schedule this pipeline to be run as soon as developer commit as soon as someone create a branch as soon as someone push the changes whatever with the condition you can based on based on that certain condition you can run your pipeline right you can you can configure in that way so as soon as developer commit the code uh, just for the reference i have took this example here so as soon as developer commit the code your task started getting executed right first of all it will build your code then it will test it will verify and then it will publish the result okay i, I know it's a bit theoretical but again I, we will switch over to azure devops and i'll quickly show you also these things but just to just to get you an idea like right so so th this is code now let's talk about the tasks so tasks are nothing i mean in again in the layman terms it's just the scripts right which you will be using to um, automate these processes right to build process to test to verify to publish the results you can use certain tasks you can create few tasks in a defined order right and to run these things to run this task you can say or to run these scripts we need an agent right we are not going to run this this whole process in our machine basically what agent will do agent will create one separate machine or separate environment for you right uh, right and uh, you he will first of all build your code right uh, he, i mean actually what it will do it will it will download all the prerequisite for the, to build the uh, build the project and it will test based on the test cases you have written in the unit test case or uh, or as in automation test cases and then it will give you the results okay the build result and the test result and then you can it will also publish the results right so this whole process this whole process is basically handled by the agent right we have written the script but these scripts are written uh, these scripts are going to be executed in a in an agent machine right so at least one agent we will be needing to execute our pipeline and the best part is microsoft provides a self-hosted agent which i mean the benefit of that agent is like ms will be handling that uh, rest of the things right you don't have to take care of, about the security and other stuff right uh, anything and if you want 
and let's suppose your pipeline is taking five hours to execute right and you want to you want this pipeline to get executed in two hours right so in that case what you can do you can create two agents or you can create three agents right so in this way you can automate your build process right and the last thing is artifacts so artifacts, artifacts are nothing but the small chunk of code you can say the the compile code right so everything is running processively uh, everything is passed everything is fine now you can deploy this code so that 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 package the deployment package you can say right the code which you are going to deploy is nothing but your artifact so let's quickly switch over to azure devops i hope it is clear now if it is not clear please please ping me and i'll try to explain it more as much as I possible <laughs> right so let me quickly switch over to Azure DevOps okay and if you see here when I go into the pipeline I'll, uh, you, you can see there are two pipelines right and and both of them are triggered manually as of now right so I have not automated that process like as soon as uh, I can I will check in you will see the pipeline will execute we'll handle that thing later first of all I wanted to show you those four components over here right now now I'll click on this and as soon as I click on the first pipeline you will see this added option right you can click on this added option and here you will see this build pipeline right so whatever pipelines you will see inside this this pipeline thing right those are nothing but the build pipeline natural devops and whatever pipelines you will see in this release release option those are nothing but the release pipelines so let's focus on the build pipeline because CI the continuous integration is I mean you can correlate that continuous integration you can understand con con continuous integration as a build pipeline process in Azure DevOps right so we have created one build pipeline I'll, I'll show you how you can create in the, in the next video but just try to understand now this is the agent job right I, I was talking about you can create multiple jobs so here I have created one job in which I will be executing these tasks right so nougat tool installer it will install all the prerequisite restore if there is anything which needs to be restored it will do then it will build your application it will test your application it will publish the results and then it will give you the artifacts as well right and if you click on these steps right you will see here you can pass the parameters right you can control the things right you can run your commands you can um, provide the variables if required right I'll, I'll show you in the later videos how you can use variables and all things right but just to understand these are the tasks this is the agent job right and uh, our code is in the repo okay and once everything is done you can see the results and artifacts right so let me show you the artifacts and the results let me quickly go back if I click on this okay and uh, again I'll click on this right so if you see here today it ran around 2011 so basically it is yesterday night <laughs> I ran it and uh, if you see this agent job is succeeded okay if you go to the test part it will show you there is one test case which is executed so uh, why it is saying one test case is because I have created a test automation framework you can say I, I, I created a simple test case right it's not an application here so in this way you can create your build pipeline for your test cases as well right and you can see the results here so this is how i'll quickly show you also like how you can run it so you can click on this you can get this option run new okay i click on this it will ask him a few things like uh, what what type of agent you want what is your branch what is the agent pool right right and you can click on run okay so it will take one minute right mostly let's hold for a second and pause this video otherwise i have done it let's see okay three seconds four seconds so if i go here over here you can see these jobs are getting executed right see using no get you are restoring all those versions and everything then the build solution will execute right? 
now it's building the project right so these are the steps right these are the scripts you can say which we are using to automate this process right and once this build is done it will test the test cases right run in parallel i have marked as false but if you want you can run in parallel i mean your, your test case is in parallel and once it is done it will give you a tick mark if anywhere it is fail it will show you the failed test case fail i mean the pipeline now it will publish the results artifacts you can see right so now your job is done so this is how okay i'll show you also this was the pipeline which we have run today just now right so this one we just ran now and it is succeeded okay as far as stages are coming we have one stage and in which we have multiple jobs as i told you you can create multiple stages right based on the agents or you can create multiple agents in simple terms right so this is how we can execute our continuous integration pipeline and these are the components we have gone through thank you thanks for watching this video